Failure only happens when you accept it. Um, this is something, I know some people will say, well, that's, that's not right because of X or Z. The, the point being is, is if you accept that some things are just the way they are, you've given in to it. Um, I've mentioned this before, going back even years, it's, um, I'm quite stubborn in the fact that I don't accept failure. I'll keep pushing things forward. I don't accept that things are impossible or won't happen or you can't do. Um, I remember a restaurant years ago, had a, had a restaurant, and we get some some of the staff, because they're quite young, um, students, and they go, it's too hard, I can't do this, can't do and then you've got to lead, you've got to show people that you can do this, and this is how you do it, and this is what you do, and this is, and you're doing it twice as much work as they are. Um, well, it's even cooking burgers, you know, with a, with a griddle set up and get 80 burgers a minute out of it. You, are, you know it, all this stuff in your head. You know how to do it. You, everything is like sort of computerized, you know, in your head. You know, it's the whole processes are in there because you study it. They don't study it because they're just thinking, I'm turning up to my uh, part time job. I'm just going to flip a couple of burgers nice and easy, but rush hour, struggling. So you go in there, you hit it, you make it happen. You turn around and say, you get 80, 80 burgers down. And they're like, I can't do 80 burgers. So you go, okay, this is this. Da, 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 da. It's all done. And the point being on this, you're not trying to ridicule them or show that they're wrong. You show them how to or can do or will do or the fact that their negativity is more a case of they're, they're accepting the limitations of themselves instead of accepting the fact that there is bigger things out there. Most people limit themselves in many ways. A lot of the problems people face related to tax and things like that where people don't push things to a risk level um, is because they lock themselves in. It just remind in my head. It just reminds me of sheep pen, where people are pulling the gate shut rather than trying to push the whole fence even a little bit further. Even if they don't feel confident enough to go out, they should be pushing the fence over a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Because rich people do not accept the tax system. Nowhere near do they accept it. That's why rich people have good accountants and richer people get above a certain level because they use the accountants to help them. They set up limited companies and corporations and everything else even on smaller scales because they can run so much stuff through their accounts that you are actually spending on a daily basis that they don't spend. They're still spending it. They're not paying tax on it. Um, so their income is reduced on paper, but they're living a better life than you, even on the same money. And this is the point. You've got to understand that you set the limits for yourself. If you set yourself up to fail, you will fail, because you've already accepted it ain't going to happen. If you turn around and say, I'm going to make this happen, I'm going to make this a success, I'm going to do whatever it takes. The first thing is you've got a mindset that is actually going to find a solution to every problem. Because when you're sat there, um, sat there like a restaurant that's failing because it's got whatever problems. If you're sitting there just thinking the restaurant's a failure, you've accepted it. If you're sat there going, we need to do a barbecue night on a Tuesday, we need to have a wine night on a Thursday, we need to have a disco on a Friday. Notice the difference. The mentality is completely different. You're not accepting failure. You're accepting the fact that you need to change the business and evolve it and push it and make it happen. And that's the difference between the two. And I said with the tax system, it's exactly the same. If you think, well, the government told me I need to do this and this, this, and I'll tell you now, the government system in the UK does not function properly because the sort of pulled everything into one place, and it's a complete mess ever since. I know people in the tax office, and they say themselves it's a complete 
mess. Um, so when they dictate to you that your tax is wrong or whatever, I'll tell you what, it's very likely their tax is wrong and yours is right. But if you don't question it or try and find ways to benefit it for yourself, nobody else will. Nobody else is going to do that for you unless you go to a point where you've got a good account and, and they're saying, you know what, put your car on this, do this, put your 30-year uh, electric on this, put your 30-year phone bill and everything on these expenses, do this, do that, do that. Nobody else will. And this is the, the big thing about if you accept failure, you, you've already failed. If you want to be successful, you need to push for success. You need to turn around and turn around and say, this is what I need to do. And it's not always easy. I know myself, some nights I'll sit here thinking of what I need to be doing tomorrow. But ultimately, if you want to get where you want to go, those are the sacrifices you make. In the same way, if you want to retire early, you sit there and work out how that you're going to make this happen. If you turn around and say, well, this is what life's given me, well, that's where you've accepted. You can change this. It's up to you. You can make this happen. Thanks for watching.